Durban University of Technology students are planning to protest this after charges were withdrawn against a private security guard alleged to have killed a student. The decision was because of a lack of evidence. Our reporter Mawanda Keswa has the full story. Demanding justice for one of their own, Mlungi Simatonzela died during a student protest at the Durban University of Technology earlier this year, allegedly at the hands of a private security guard contracted to the institution. Months later, and the charges against the accused have been withdrawn. The university student representative council says it plans to protest against the NPA's decision. We were very astonished and we were very disappointed about their response because it seeks to undermine us as a student. It cannot be true that uh, they can kill one of our students and then they can drop all charges without any justice. The justice system has failed us and that is very disgusting. The NPA says the decision is due to insufficient evidence to prove the elements of the murder. But the SRC is crying foul play. There are people who were there when the incident was happening. There are students who saw everything. There are students who were here, here, here when the incident took place. So they're supposed to come and then write the statement. And then there are cameras around the institution. And then the institution decided to hide all this evidence. There is a evidence, but they are covering up something. We know that. The matter has been referred for an inquest and the NPA will determine the way forward after the findings.